Hey, are you a programmer new to the Hadoop and the big data framework and have questions like what is MapReduce, is Hadoop a database or are you a IT manager who is also having such questions as, you know, is Hadoop a environment for my work? I think you are at the right place to watch this video. So we try to understand and answer these questions of what is MapReduce, why MapReduce, and what kind of use cases would fit MapReduce. So let's start always with an example. We know our typical online shopping process. We all shop. And how does a shopping process work? So we place an order on an online transaction system. The, this system in turn looks into the product at the various warehouses. And once it identifies, it places an order on the warehouse. The warehouse identifies the product, packs the product, and it ships the product. So once the shipping is done, the delivery system picks up the shipped product and delivers it to the customer. This is at a very high level about the entire process. So what all do we see here? The customer process is simplified. He need not have to go to the store to pick it. Everything happens online. But for businesses, it poses a challenge. What kind of a challenge does it pose? There is no customer interaction anymore. You don't understand the customer behavior as there is no in-person interaction. So what happens in the mind of a customer, which is nothing but his behavior, is now more in the customer you mouse clicks, which they do. And that's the information that we can capture. So this information, which the customer is trying to do as mouse clicks, is captured into various web server web logs, which are files to store that information. So the huge amount of these files which get created every day when these transactions happen and they're stored on these web servers. So architecturally, <clears throat> there's no one web server. The, the web server is a bunch of web servers which keep getting requests from multiple sources like laptops, I, iPhones, iPads, all kinds of media and they capture these information. As they cannot store huge information, the files are moved from the web servers into a larger storage. These stories are a weekly, and they have the information about the customer behavior. And it talks about information like what is the type of user, etc. So if, if we were to process these files, we would get a lot of information about how the business is performing today, uh, how it would be in the future. So these, the processing funnel and the storage together form the, the big data storage and the processing engine. In our context, the storage is the Hadoop distributed file system and the processing engine is the MapReduce framework. Thank you for watching this video and hope you found this video interesting. My name is Venkatesh Sanklapur and I am a big data specialist. Feel free to contact me on venbigdata at gmail.com.